Hello and welcome to the devotion for Thursday, January the 17th, entitled, The Quality of Life. Now, normally when we hear that term, the quality of life, we think about the type of life that we have. But today I want to ask this question, what quality do we need to get life? What is the quality that we need to be able to have life? Now, in John 10.10, we read Sunday, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Now, obviously, the thief is talking about Satan or the enemy that, uh, that we have to face. But how does the enemy steal, kill, and destroy? I mean, sometimes we think, you know, that that's happening apart from us, that the enemy is stealing or killing or destroying, and we're just reaping that. But I ask this, sometimes the way that the enemy steals, kills, and destroys is by tempting us to do the wrong things. That quality of who we should be gets robbed from the lie that the enemy speaks into our mind, that tells us to compromise, that tells us to to, uh, cut corners, that tells us to lie. We frequently see the effects of the enemy in our compromises. Now, in Proverbs eleven nineteen, we read these words. The truly righteous man or woman attains life. The truly righteous person attains life. But he who pursues evil goes to his death. It says the truly righteous get life, but those who are evil end up with death. In the same way, in Galatians 6, 8, we read these words, the one who sows to please the sinful nature from that nature will reap destruction. But the one who sows to please the spirit, which would be seeking righteousness, from the spirit will reap life. I believe righteousness, integrity, is that key component that is going to give us life. And the enemy steals, kills, and destroys us by causing us to lose that quality, that conviction, that commitment. When we lose the quality of righteousness and integrity, that is the tool the enemy uses, I believe, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. If we want to have life, then that quality has got to be there. And that quality is righteousness, it's character, it's integrity. And every one of us are challenged. I would love to tell you I am uh, never without integrity. I struggle just like everyone else, but I have made this commitment. Even if I struggle, I will fight back to health and I will look for God's strength to walk in integrity in everything that I possibly can. Because I know that when I sow to the Spirit, I reap life. That's the call. Want quality of life? Have this quality in your life. Let's pray. Father, I know that righteousness is the quality that brings life. And I know that the enemy steals and kills and destroys when he can get us to operate in a lack of of righteousness, in a lack of integrity. So, Father, we ask that you would hone us, that when we are rested, when we are thinking clearly and we know this truth, let it be so deeply implanted in us that when we are struggling and when we are tired and weary, that truth will never be robbed from us, that the quality of life would be our commitment, Lord, do this in us, in Jesus' name, amen. Let that quality be in your life. Let it be in my life, and I'll see you tomorrow.